If you are passionate about learning new things and discovering interesting facts, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Together, let's explore the world around us in a fun and educational way. Sign up now and be part of this journey of discovery. On December 26, 2004, the world witnessed one of the most devastating natural disasters in modern history, the Indian Ocean Tsunami. This catastrophic event was triggered by a 9.1 to 9.3 magnitude underwater earthquake off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia. The waves generated by this earthquake swept the coasts of 14 countries, causing the deaths of approximately 230,000 to 280,000 people and leaving millions homeless. The impact of this tsunami was not only physical, but also emotional and psychological, deeply affecting humanity and raising important questions about preparedness and response to natural disasters. Or Sumatra Andaman Earthquake the beginning of this tragedy dates back to the earthquake that occurred at 7 hours 58 minutes and 53 seconds local time. This earthquake, known as the Sumatra Andaman earthquake, is the third largest earthquake ever recorded on seismographs. The epicenter of the earthquake was located north of the island of Simulu, west of Sumatra, Indonesia, at a depth of approximately 30 kilometers below the seabed. The affected region belongs to the boundary between the Indo-Australian plate and the Burma plate. Subduction, where one tectonic plate slides under another, is a common process along this boundary, but the release of energy in this event was extraordinarily large. The abrupt displacement of large volumes of ocean water generated a series of giant waves that propagated across the Indian Ocean at speeds exceeding 800 km per hour. The Force of the Waves The 2004 tsunami produced waves that reached varying heights depending on coastal topography. In some areas, waves reached up to 30 meters high. The propagation of these waves was rapid and devastating. Just 15 minutes after the earthquake, the first waves hit the coast of Sumatra. Within two hours, the waves had reached the coasts of Thailand, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, India, and eventually reached the east coast of Africa. Destruction and Suffering The devastation was unimaginable. The waves advanced over densely populated coastal areas, taking everything in their path, houses, vehicles, trees, and, tragically, human lives. In Aceh, Indonesia, the area closest to the epicenter, cities were virtually obliterated. Banda Aceh, the provincial capital, saw around 170,000 of its residents perish, and more than 500,000 were left homeless. In Sri Lanka, where more than 30,000 people died, the tsunami destroyed critical infrastructure such as roads and hospitals and left a trail of destruction along the east coast. In India, particularly in the state of Tamil Nadu, the tsunami killed around 10,000 people, and in Thailand, a popular tourist destination, more than 5,000 people, including many foreign tourists, lost their lives. Stories of Survival and Loss Among the stories of loss, there were also stories of survival and heroism. Many moving accounts revealed the courage and resilience of individuals in the face of impossible circumstances. In a village in Indonesia, a woman managed to save her young children by placing them in a tree before the waves reached their home. In another case, a fisherman in Thailand managed to save dozens of people by using his boat to rescue them from rough waters. However, the scale of the disaster left many unaware of the whereabouts of their loved ones for days, weeks and, in some cases, months. Reunifying families was a painful process and, for many, the search ended in tragedy when bodies were identified and buried. International and Humanitarian Response The response to the 2004 tsunami was one of the largest humanitarian operations ever undertaken. Governments, non-governmental organizations, 
NGOs, and individuals around the world mobilized to provide relief. The international community came together in an impressive show of solidarity and financial support. It is estimated that more than 14 billion US dollars was donated for humanitarian aid and reconstruction. The work of humanitarian organizations was crucial in meeting the victims' immediate needs, providing food, water, shelter and medical care. Furthermore, psychological support was essential in helping communities deal with the profound trauma caused by the disaster. Challenges in Reconstruction Reconstruction of the affected areas was a monumental challenge. In addition to rebuilding physical infrastructure, such as roads, schools and hospitals, there was a need to rebuild lives and communities. Economic recovery was also an important focus, as many of the survivors lost their sources of livelihood. However, the reconstruction process was not without challenges. Coordination between different organizations and governments was not always perfect, and in some cases, aid was poorly distributed. Corruption was also a problem in some areas, further complicating reconstruction efforts. Lessons learned The 2004 tsunami served as a global wake-up call about the importance of preparing for and responding to natural disasters. Several important lessons were learned. Early warning systems, the tragedy highlighted the critical need for effective early warning systems. Since then, the Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System has been established, with the aim of providing rapid and accurate warnings to help save lives in future events. Education and Awareness There has been a significant increase in efforts to educate coastal populations about the signs of an imminent tsunami and the actions to take. Awareness programs and evacuation drills have become more common in many vulnerable regions. Community resilience, building more resilient communities has become a priority. This includes not only building more robust infrastructure, but also strengthening community networks and empowering people to respond effectively in emergency situations. Final Thoughts the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami was a tragedy of epic proportions, leaving an indelible mark on the lives of millions of people. The destruction and suffering caused by this event remind us of the uncontrollable force of nature and human vulnerability. However, they also serve as a testament to human resilience and the ability to recover in the face of adversity. The legacy of this disaster is present not only in the lessons learned and improvements implemented, but also in the memories of the lives lost and the communities that rose from the ashes. The world was forced to look at the future with a new perspective, more aware of the need to be prepared and to act quickly and efficiently in the face of such catastrophes. So, by remembering the largest tsunami in modern history, we honor the memory of the victims and celebrate the strength of those who survived. And, above all, we commit to working together to ensure that, in the future, we can minimize the impacts of natural disasters and protect future generations from the unpredictable forces of nature.